You know, I'm thoroughly surprised you um work here. Good. I love surprises. Welcome home. Okay, we're done here. We're not even gonna vote. <laughs> Fine, this will be quick. All those against everything about Chelsea's idiotic proposal, say aye. 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 Listen, if you expect the teachers to do more for the students, they're gonna need more resources. No. Then we need more support staff. No. Okay, then we need to be compensated. <laughs> no. So you want us to do all this extra work outside of our jobs and not get paid for it? No. I mean, yes. I'm just so used to saying no. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but things just aren't going to change this school year. You're just gonna have to learn to live with that. Okay, while we're spitting truths, your husband kissed me on the lips at a New Year's Eve party, and it was longer than three seconds. And you're just gonna have to learn to live with that. <clears throat> Next order of business? Somebody say something? I wanna talk about that more. Hello, Mr. Dean. I'm Cindy Beck. He thought it wasn't gay. Well, maybe you just think that because he had a beard. A really hot friend of mine hooked up with him a couple times, so. This hot friend, how well do you know her? She was my roommate. One bedroom or two. To make an outgoing call, choose an unoccupied line. Unoccupied line, and you just dial? Nine. You're right. And then the number. And what's this little guy over here? Speaker phone. Dean? Mm -hmm. Nine. Yes, nine, bit nine. You're his domestic assistant, I'm his real assistant. Just to be clear. <laughs> Just to be even more clear, you may be his real assistant in here, but I'm his assistant everywhere in the universe. Well, as his assistant who actually gets paid to be his assistant, I'm afraid I have to disagree with you. We're supposed to be done with all of this. Look, what I, what I need you to do is get your things together. Oh, Sarah. I am way okay. ahead of you. I, I am taking Zach to my aunt's in Scottsdale. What is it that you want me to do? You tell me what that is that you want me to do, and I can do it for you. You can say goodbye to your son. <laughs> Not take my son away from me. After men with guns came to my house? Come on. Go say goodbye to your son. You know the best part about you going from the international response team to the BAU? What's that? That after nearly 10 years of marriage, I finally get to share my bed with my husband on a semi-regular basis. Sudden shifts in behavior are usually tied to something changing at home. And honestly, I think that something changing here is me. Will it matter if I say this is not your fault? Of course it matters, the love of my life. But right now, you need to save the world, and I need to spend time with our son. I shouldn't. Why? Oh, well, you're not. <laughs> oh, my God, what am I going to do? Number five. We're going to need a bigger boat. I know, you're a creature of habit, but habits were meant to be broken. The police and FBI, I'm sure they're already downstairs, but the problem is they have no way of actually seeing what's happening in here. So you and I have to create a little distraction. Well, you want to help the cops? Huh? Is that it? it was Let him go. I did it. It was my phone. I put it up there. I need you to come with me. Don't touch me, please. I had just returned from Afghanistan. I was there defusing roadside bombs and... shrapnel ripped through me. Next thing I know, I became the thing that almost killed me. Give me a break. It was just a broken nose. I could have done much worse. Or it is you tried to. Bones heal. Agent Gibbs. No, no, what you did was wrong. So if you don't tell your boss, I'm going to. You come anywhere near my club and I'll have the bouncers all over you. Oh, please. I've known those bouncers for years and they're all my friends. Especially big guy, <laughs> really big guy. Oh, I got rid of them. Now it's enormous guy, more enormous guy, and guy so big he ate the guys you knew. <laughs> I'm on a layover, just killing time. 
Where are you headed? Home. Richmond. Is that where he is? Right. Yes, Tim. That's where he is. What happens tomorrow? You go your way, I go mine. Is that okay? So, I am standing in this house because I want to. Because I love parties. But it took two wars and over seven generations to get me here. Are we going to be okay? All I've ever wanted was to make the world a safer place, and it will be. A life. Line. A lifeline. Do you want to get out of here? <laughs>